bring the constitution for a referendum by the people. If it is accepted by next year, we should have an elected parliament. People throughout the country realize that they have rights and freedom. Uh, you may have likes and dislikes, but uh, that should be demonstrated in a peaceful manner. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand today. I am Kusuma y o t a s w a t as your host. Thailand came under close international scrutiny following the coup to oust a civilian government in May 2014. Thereafter, the focus, both domestic and foreign, has shifted to the drafting of a new constitution. A false start was made, and time wasted as the first draft. Was rejected by its member. The process has quickly got back on track, with the appointment of the new 21 Members Constitution Drafting Committee or CDC. How the CDC has gone about their task is, is something of a general public interest here and abroad. So, what are the five rivers and its branches? Thailand Today gives you Kun Norajit Singh Haseni. He's a member and spokesman of the Constitution Drafting Committee, who will elaborate on the five rivers policy, its mechanism, and the expected outcome of reformist policies. I am honored to welcome Kun Norajit Singh Haseni. Member and spokesperson of the Constitution Drafting Committee. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ I am delighted to have you again in our program. Happy to be back. I do s t Well, I would love to start off because today we are talking about a very important issue that is about five rivers. So, uh, what is so called the five rivers reform policy? Well, the five rivers, if you're not familiar, mm. is the process. Mm -hmm. To return Thailand to the path of democracy, uh, elected parliament, elected government. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, coined the term the five rivers. Mm -hmm. The first river is of course the cabinet. Cabinet. The second river is the nation, uh, national Nas council uh, for uh, peace and uh, order. order yes. The third is the national assembly. Uh. Fourth is. The Constitution Drafting Commission, uh -huh. uh, of which I am a member, yes. it is one of the newer rivers. Yes. And the last is the uh, Council mm. for Reform. Reform. Yes. So these five rivers uh, have the responsibility mm. to, in our case, draft a constitution, mm. and then bring the constitution for a referendum mm. by the people. Mm. If it is it, it, it is uh, accepted mm. and and passes the referendum, mm. then the elections will be held, mm. and so by next year we should have a elected mm. uh, parliament and following that an elected uh, government. Yes, to our audience who are in the 176 country worldwide, may not do not understand what is the rivers mean for the Thai society, for the foreign people. So uh, each of the river, who actually actually who is the brainchild of this name? Why rivers? Why rivers? Well, uh, it is a, it is a concept where each has a duty. Yes. But finally, the five rivers merges into mm. one river. Uh, Bringing Thailand on the course to to democracy, I think mm. that phrase probably was coined by the idea of the roadmap. Ah, because uh, once you had the change in government mm. on the twentieth of uh, May, yeah. uh, then uh. the uh, National Council for Peace and Order and the government set out a roadmap. Yes, we are already. Well on the way uh -huh. to completing that roadmap, right. the first phase has um, been done, which mm. is most important mm. to return peace and stability. Mm. Second phase is this uh, drafting of the constitution. Unfortunately, there was a drafting committee, and the draft was done, but uh, it was not uh, accepted uh, by the, uh, the body that mm. 
uh, was uh, appointed to, to consider it. Mm -hmm. So now we have 180 days mm -hmm. to complete to be, this yes. new draft and bring it to the uh, referendum by the people. Mm. So when you talk about, uh, it is some kind of uh, a light to that end of the tunnel. Yes, that's, what, that's how we see it, that uh, it's a process. Uh, people may not be entirely satisfied that the progress is, is uh, proceeding fast enough, uh -huh. but I think we need to understand that uh, we are not only drafting the constitution, but mm. trying to find mm. uh, a process that will reform mm. the political uh, system, the political landscape, mm. so that there will be no more, hopefully no mm. more conflict. Mm -hmm. Among the Thai people. Yeah, yes, sir. So um, the first, we remember that the, it was unsuccessful, as you said previously, and the present one uh, will be merging. Well, the present one, I think the, the objective is clear mm. to have it, number one, uh, universally accepted, accepted. Mm -hmm. by the international community. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, all the important principles are there. but. At the same time, looking at the Thai society, mm -hmm. uh, looking at Thailand, how, what would be appropriate for us. Mm -hmm. Many of the problems that we have, many countries in the world cannot even imagine. <laughs> yes. Oh, to the Thai, we are hopeful and looking for that because of the, that leads to election. Yes. And uh, it's, the worry is different from foreign people. They worried about what is going on all that. So in that case, do uh, you think that uh, after the election done, things will be solved, everything will be smooth, or still because we have to uproot certain things? Well, I think the mm. important uh, thing to remember is uh, you can make all the rules in the world, you can have a best constitution, but it is the people who are implementing it. Mm. So we hope that the uh, politicians, mm those that are in power will, will see that uh, we cannot proceed mm. in the way that we had people mm. uh, from different uh, parts of the country, mm -hmm. uh, different regions in conflict with one another. Mm -hmm. You are in the part of the Constitution Drafting Committee. So uh, actually, what is the real duty of that? Well, the duty is to come up with, with a draft constitution that will have uh, the main points are how the representatives of the people are elected, mm -hmm. the members of parliament, mm -hmm. the senators. Mm -hmm. Next is how the government should function, yes. issues of reform. Uh, we are trying to make this constitution short, mm -hmm. concise, mm -hmm. and hopefully with the participation of the people. Mm -hmm. So all the points that we are including, the way you mm -hmm. elect members of parliament, mm -hmm. how we uh, elect senators, we are trying to make it easier to, for people to understand, mm -hmm. making it uh, better for them that they would feel that their participation is meaningful. Mm -hmm. There is uh, now ideas of counting the votes mm. of those unsuccessful candidates mm. and giving them seats as a party list. Mm -hmm. So you actually, we are the rest of 60, what, 65, 66 million really looking for and hopeful with your work, you and your team work. So uh, the constitution must be really, really good for everybody. We hope, but uh, the 65 million also <laughs> have a role to play. Mm -hmm. Number one, we are seeking their views. Uh -huh. There are regular polls and, and channels mm. where they can let their voices be heard. Mm. We've already proposed mm. the method to elect members of parliament. We've already proposed uh, how you choose prime ministers. Mm. Uh, now we're looking at the Senate. And once the constitution, the first draft is done in Mm. January. Yes. We hope that people will send in their comments and oh. suggestions. Oh, you're waiting for that too. We are waiting for that ah. also. We will try to explain. And by the 1st of April of next year, the final draft will be finished. Mm. It will be pre presented to the cabinet mm. and then the referendum will be held 
that is the second time that the people will have an important role. Mm -hmm. All 65 million or, or those that have uh, are eligible to vote. Mm -hmm. That means you have to be over uh, 18. Uh -huh. But uh, the third one is once the constitution is adopted, we have elections. That uh, is when the Thai people really need to really come out mm -hmm. and show what yes. they what they want to see. Oh, so far, the percentage of the people coming out too less. Do you think that they should come out more and more to get a better result? Well, uh, I think at this time, those that are interested in giving their views, mm. because it's not a complete constitution mm. yet, I think mm. we have probably come around one third of the, the, the draft. Uh, there is much to do. Some people are waiting to see a final uh, yes. first draft first rather than commenting mm, on specific bit. issues. Uh, as one of the five uh, rivers, one you, I don't know, you agree on the National Council for Peace and Order can be seen as the biggest uh, river? Well, they have an important role, mm. but I think from the time that the changeover took place, I think the more prominent role would be the cabinet. The cabinet. Because uh -huh. the cabinet is administering the country on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. The uh, National Council on Peace and Order, yes, I so think, up there. it's yeah. up there. Mm. And uh, we have seen peace and stability. So the role is there, but I don't think they have any important activities mm. as, as long as the situation is, is peaceful, mm. it's, uh, there is stability, people can visit Thailand, people can, can, can come uh, and feel safe. So I think that role, the cabinet would have the most important role. Mm -hmm. Since uh, the five rivers are all very big, <laughs> very important, so uh, how much until this minute achievement of, uh, of, this, of these rivers, of these five rivers? Well, each has its own role to play. Yes. As we were discussing, y cabinet yes. uh. administers the country on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm. Uh, the council, I think, is there. Mm. What is important to point out is the National Assembly. Mm. It is uh, the primary organ that mm. legislate and issues laws. They have been able to come up with many laws that had been pending, many important mm. uh, laws that, that will drive the uh, country forward. Mm -hmm. Our role as Constitution Drafting Commission, I think we have taken our responsibilities very seriously. Mm -hmm. We've worked every day since the mm -hmm. 6th of October when we were appointed. Mm -hmm. The last river is the Council on Reform. Mm -hmm. They have started yes. work about the same time that mm -hmm. we did, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a much bigger organ, mm -hmm. around 200 mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So they are trying to organize themselves and they will have the responsibility of suggesting reforms mm. in all the important sectors. Mm -hmm. That work will continue. Mm. You don't divide it into phase anymore? It's the first phase, second phase? Are we are We're still in the second phase still of the, the second phase of, uh -huh. So it's not included with the previous one? Well, it is it part of the same part roadmap. Ah, oh, same <coughs> on that. Yeah. So uh, this is the completion one? The first one, the first phase <coughs> already done? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, so that's satisfied, or it has been. It, you wait for all together, and then. No, to, we to go by phase. By phase. Uh, when yes. you talk about the roadmap, mm. what phase you are in. Mm. The second phase is the constitution. Mm. The third phase would be elections and returning mm. uh, democracy to the country. Mm. We're still hearing here and there. He say that uh, well, uh, it's not just that, or you know, there's some people coming out and saying that uh, well, they'd like it to be that way, this way. So how would we come into it? Well, we 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 try to find the the way forward. Mm -hmm. uh, much of the criticism we are hearing are from political parties. Mm, yes. Uh, you can you can uh, uh, try to explain it as mm -hmm. uh, uh, number one they would like the status quo to be maintained. Mm. That is uh, no change. Mm. Many of the things we propose, we feel that the, the people will benefit, mm. the yes. country will benefit. Yeah, yeah. And all the polls that have been conducted mm. seem to suggest that what we are proposing 
mm. meets with the uh, approval of the people. Mm. But of course, uh, the political parties feel if things remain the same, easier for them. Mm. But then we are asking ourselves and asking the people that if everything remains the same, mm. is there a possibility that Thailand will go back to the situation before 22nd of May, mm. which I think no one in mm. Thailand wants to see. Mm. Frankly, as a Thai citizen, you as a Thai citizen also have the responsibility. You think the Thai mentality is not the same. What happened? Well, the Thai mentality, I think uh, we have come through an important change. Mm. I think the most important one is uh, people throughout the country realize that they have rights and freedom. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, with that, they feel that their needs should be responded to. Mm -hmm. Third, they have likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. They prefer uh, one party or a few parties that feel that are benefiting them. So mm -hmm. that is logical in mm -hmm. any society. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is to find ways that the people can work together. Mm -hmm. uh, you may have likes and dislikes, but uh, that should be demonstrated in a peaceful manner. Mm -hmm. We cannot go back to uh, demonstrations on the street and mm -hmm. violence. Mm -hmm. You were previously a permanent secretary of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so uh, you've been mingled and knowing a lot of uh, foreign people. So what is going to be outcome now? You'll be happy by them? You'll be satisfied by them? I mean, though we are not set waiting for their satisfaction, but uh, we are still somehow we have to deal with the, the society. And well, the this society. is an important point. Mm, yeah. I think many of our friends understand us, mm. understand that we are going through a process. Mm -hmm. What many of us are disappointed are our friends. Mm. Those that have long-standing relations mm. with us, they should understand us quite well. Mm. They have a big presence here. I noticed at the end of last week, there was a comment from mm. a friend mm -hmm. that said uh, they are not satisfied with the relations between that country and Thailand, mm. which for me is very disappointing. Mm. Number one, we, are, we haven't changed. Uh, I think the Thai people value and, 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 and want to see democracy. Exactly. We are just going exactly. through the process. Uh, we are a country that is 700 years old. Mm. We have survived. We, not, we may not be perfect, but I think uh, it is a process that is moving forward. Mm. And when they are disappointed with the relations, I think it is mm. on their part. Mm. Thailand has not changed. We are ready to be friends. We are ready to cooperate. It is their choice not to cooperate with us. Mm -hmm. So I don't see the point in saying that uh, they are not satisfied or not happy mm. with the relations. Mm -hmm. I think our door is open. Yes, and also how about the ASEAN friends? ASEAN friends, I think, understand quite well. Mm. Um, they each have their own internal problems. Mm. Some manage it better than others, but I think uh, the, the principle of non-interference, friends can give advice. Mm. Friends can tell you what they feel is best, but do it quietly. Mm. I think the case in Myanmar mm. is a very important mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. ASEAN has chosen to bring Myanmar in. Uh, we have spoken to them. We, when there are issues, we talk to them. We don't make it public. We don't sanction. Mm -hmm. I think that has proven that the ASEAN way, no, it may not be perfect, but it has worked. Mm. As for the completions of the, of the first phase, of the river reform policy. <coughs> so uh, it can be sure that we are going to have a happy life? Well, we are trying. Mm -hmm. We are trying to uh, make uh, Thailand move forward in a democratic way where the people can express themselves. Nothing has changed. We will have elections. Uh, members of parliament will be direct mm. Mm. The, uh, uh, elected by the people mm. and 
the parliament will function, they will choose an elected government. So mm -hmm. I think that is the prime objective. Mm -hmm. But how to make it simple, how to have organs or bodies in place where if there is a crisis, we can work out the crisis mm -hmm. without having to go back to the streets. Yes, sir. And also last but not least is the investors. We really looking forward for them to be in here. So what we are going to have in the future, legislative or whatever, is this, is this, is this for them? Is there open door for them? They can be rely on and what? Well, I think the important uh, uh, point that they want to see is uh, Thailand that is peaceful, mm -hmm. Thailand that is uh, stable, that uh, their investment will be safe. I think our friends, long-standing friends, uh, a case in point would be Japan, mm -hmm. China. Mm -hmm. Japan sees the long-term view of Thailand. Yes. Despite the problems, we see the Japanese companies coming out to say that they will be increasing their investment, mm -hmm. building more plants. They are happy mm -hmm. with the quality of the Thai workers, the high quality, the dedication. Mm -hmm. And I think the government will be uh, extending a very important uh, investment incentives, not only for the Japanese, mm. but for all. Yes. So, so we are seeing that uh, many countries who saying that they have a problem with us uh, politically, mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, if there are investment opportunities, they are right here. They are, mm. they are ready to invest. And mm. I think that is the correct attitude. Mm. But on the political side, of course, we are not back to democracy, but mm -hmm. friends should understand one another. I think that is the important mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. To come out and criticize every day, I don't think it, it, it's going to bring any positive results. Mm -hmm. We know what we have to do. Mm -hmm. We are trying to do our best. Mm -hmm. Just give us time. Yeah, but uh, uh, so far, and I think the be in the beginning when we have this uh, present government coming in and we heard about uh, some European countries who do not agree, are not happy and not, not cooperate at all. But now they're just moving on. I think they're coming back. They're still having their national day be celebrated here. Do you think that that's a move? that they, they think that we are in better positioning? Well, I think uh, I, I feel that every country, uh, it is in their interest, mm -hmm. common interest to, to continue the relations. They can express their views. Of course, once the incident happened, uh, mm -hmm. you express your views. But uh, once you see that the process is ongoing, then as friends, I think we need the support. I, I don't think it's, it's, it's positive to say we need elections, we need elections, mm -hmm. we need elections because yeah. we have seen what the problems have arisen, uh -huh. not only in Thailand. You look at the Middle East now, you look at many countries mm -hmm. where countries intervene, change the government mm -hmm. and feel that elections is the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is the ultimate goal. For the Thai people, we want to see a return to democracy. Mm -hmm. But I think the ultimate goal is to have peace, stability, progress in the country, and people living and, 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 and in harmony. In mm -hmm. harmony and in safety. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them who looking forward for that. <laughs> so Thailand today would like to thank Kun Norjit Singh Haseni, uh, member and spokesman of the Constitution Drafting Committee, who kindly walked us through the reform process as well as the expected position outcome under five reverse policy. Swadika. Swadika. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotas. Hope to see you again tomorrow. สวัสดีค่ะ